How's it going, Reef Builders? Jake here, and you're joining me for day three of my Australia LFS and Aquarium tour. And uh, I'm at Jay Z Aquariums. Where are we, Chris? Abbott. Abbott, at Abbott, uh, about a 45 minute drive outside of Sydney. And um, this is a small shop, and as soon as I walked in, Immediately I was like, what am I doing here? Because uh, this looks kind of like a small hole in the wall, but a closer look uh, definitely revealed some really exciting fish, some awesome corals. So we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you some really, really cool stuff. All right, so this is Jay-Z Marine Aquariums. And um, it's kind of a typical blue painted uh, reef shop. What I like about this place is that it's a specialty store. And um, this is the entirety of the store. Right? It there's, there's, doesn't look like there's too much in here, but uh, quality over quantity, right guys? So, um, man, like I said, there's a really couple of exciting things, but uh, we'll get started. This is, a, you know, kind of a basic shop, you know, they stock just uh, <laughs> very basics. I guess things are pretty much brought in to order. We have a uh, kind of a classic coral table here lit up with some uh, uh, workforce LEDs. There's a, let's see, a, Aqua One LED here, and uh, Illumagic, um, Illumagic Blaze, and um, everything looks really well up by these strip lights. I'm really liking the uniformity of this light. So we're gonna take a quick look at the corals because um, once again, if you're watching these videos, you'll notice, you'll know by now that everything here is Australian. So all these corals are local and they either come from the south, sorry, the west, the north, or the east of Australia. So. Um, what do I want to show you first? So, like every other shop I've been to, there's a pretty good cluster of uh, euphilias. There's not that many in stock, but there's a really cool one here with some, uh, some orange tentacles and a few green tentacles poking out. Uh, really, really cool to see. Um, we've got this rainbowy uh, hammer coral style right here that actually has um, a really, really cool pattern and kind of an exaggerated tentacle tip. Very, very nice. Um, over here is kind of a classic green splattered uh, patina. Um, really cool coral. This is kind of the largest showiest colony I've seen here so far. And uh, we've got a variety of long tentacle plate coral, some torches. Uh, we've got some flower pots over here. Um, some really cool zoanthids. Um, I'm really liking the diversity of zoanthids. There's some oddballs here that I'm sure the zoanthid nuts would um, put to good use. Uh, something that we don't see too much is the uh, Brachiosaur uh, Blenny. They got a really neat crest on top of their head. There's actually quite a bunch of these running around. Um, maybe not the showiest thing, but this Cossinaria is uh, really unique. Uh, really cool to see this one with its tentacles out. So um, it's again, I'm still always flabbergasted to know that all these corals um, come from local reefs. So really, really cool that these corals don't have to travel too far to get here. Uh, once again, I'm really stoked to see another uh, Ningaloo clam. This one is um, a little bit light on pattern and color, but you can tell by the, uh, the semi teardrops on it and the really bumpy surface that that is indeed a Ningaloo clam. So what else we have? Oh yeah, the first thing that the first coral that really uh, got me super excited was this Australogyra zelli. Um, this is one of my super all time favorite corals. I went to the Solomon Islands looking for it, found it. And the only other place it really comes from is um, around the Great Barrier Reef. So, um, you know, kind of a limited coral selection. There's a cyclone going on right now on the east coast of Australia, and it's really messing up logistics. So uh, let's keep going and see what else we got. On this side of the coral displays is a beautiful couple, three um, nice carpet anemones. Again, not the showiest or most colorful, but they're in really, really good health. And you know, after seeing so many uh, domesticated clownfish, you almost forget how beautiful and perfect a plain old wild ocellaris can be. So I am still a big fan of wild clownfish, not in huge numbers, but uh, it really reminds you of what these fish are supposed to look like. And here's another pair here, which is a beautiful classic orange and white stripe and just perfect body, perfect color, perfect face. And um, these bubble tips are actually not too bad. I didn't even see those on my initial walkthrough. Very, very cool. These uh, neon green, uh, lime green tentacle bubble tips with a light purple tip. Very cool to see. Um, over here, we've got a little bit of a possum wrasse. 
kind of uh, hidden behind the LEDs, but even nicer, something that always makes me smile is a beautiful Collins angelfish, Centropygy colonii. And these guys are uh, definitely a little bit more reclusive, a little bit cryptic, but I've been able to see a lot more of these um, doing well over the last few years. And uh, it seems like the Australian, the coral sea version of the colonai angelfish is um, really, really colorful. That yellow is brighter and the blue is more pronounced than you might see in some Filipino specimens where that body might be a kind of a dull olive, olive light yellow. So um, yeah, so not a crazy amount of corals to see uh, here at Jay-Z Marines. But if there's one takeaway from this place, it's just a couple of the super duper rare fish that are hiding among these coral tanks. Um, so a lot of these are kind of your bread and butter Australian fish. Got some, uh, some, a pair of scribbled angel fish, a pair of clown triggers, which actually were traded in um, by a customer. And uh, I noticed that one of these has a, a beautiful yellow edge to his dorsal and anal fin. And I'm curious to know if that could be a, a sexual coloration. I don't know if that's ever been confirmed, but um, anyway, I noticed that bright yellow uh, base to its dorsal fin. So the magnific magnificent fox face, again, some yellow trevallies. So here's the big crop of the uh, Brachiosaur blennies. These are great algae ears. Um, but yeah, the first fish I want to show you that really blew my mind is, drum roll please, Bodianus paraleucosticticus. I know that name is a handful, but this fish is super duper cool. Um, I've actually never seen this fish in person. I believe this fish came from deep water in the Coral Sea on the uh, uh, north side of the country around Queensland. Um, a beautiful fish and one thing that's kind of hard to appreciate is all the little subtle patterns, all the cute little spots. And uh, once this fish swims around, their, their stripes, although they're faint, they really have a rainbow-like quality from a light red fading to an orange and then yellow. But the gradient of those stripes is really, really beautiful and stunning. So very, very excited I got to see this fish. Moving right along, again, um, these tanks seem like they're you know filled to order, but uh, what really, really knocked my socks off and a fish you already know that I love a lot is a Leonard Irasses. I saw just a couple much smaller specimens uh, yesterday at Hurstville Aquarium and uh, seeing four of them in the tank together, a little bit larger and really bold. Oh my goodness, this is a borderline religious experience. And what's really cool is when we set up the light to uh, get, illuminate these guys just a little bit more, <laughs> instead of hiding from the light, they came right up to the front, right up to the front, right into the brightness and uh, allowed me to get this beautiful clip of these fish swimming around. So really an awesome treat to see these fish in person. I'm sure these guys are gonna look really, really great on the big screen, but I have one more surprise and uh, one of the least likeliest fish that I would expect to see, uh, hell, anywhere. This guy, when I finally saw him, just totally knocked my socks off. We figured out that this is a necklaced carpet shark. Just absolutely beautiful fish, really slender and skinny. And he's got these, uh, well, first of all, he's got this beautiful black collar around his head that is surrounded in fine white spots. And it's just so cool how it camouflages his gills. And that enough is, man, if this fish was in America, I think I wouldn't be able to resist setting it up a tank just for him. I am just truly smitten with this fish. I can't even tell you. And then in addition to have this beautiful, beautiful, like, uh, I guess a turtleneck, I guess you could say, of color. It's got these black accent spots at the tip of uh, all of its fins and uh, also of its tail. So this fish is really, really beautiful. Just truly not my socks off. Um, I'm not even a huge shark guy. I mean, I do like my baby sharks, the small reef sharks, the, uh, the cat sharks, and the epaulets, as I've mentioned a couple times. But this uh, collared carpet shark, uh, from southwestern Australia. It's just truly, truly a sight to see. So really, really cool fish. So I'm absolutely tickled at how my Australia aquarium tour visit is going down so far. Um, if all the shops are any indication of what I'm going to see in uh, over the next week or so, there's still a whole lot more coming. So keep it locked. Make sure to hit that like button, uh, share with some friends and uh, subscribe because we got a lot more coming. So catch you guys on the next one.